This is true. This is true. Dude, I only slept two hours the night before. And, oh, when I finally got to sleep, oh, I slept, slept for so long, maybe 12 hours, and then I woke up and I was just, I'm, I was like a raisin, you know? I was thirsty, hungry, sore. I was everything. And I was just, I just consumed. <laughs> just forever, I just drank all the water, ate all the food. Man, I wish I could make this game not mute itself when I click out of the browser. Probably is a way to do that, but whatever, we already made it this far. I'm gonna start a new game. I did play a little bit, uh, you know, because I wanted to not get embarrassed on like how to use items. Um, full disclosure though, I still try to right click my items when this game is all left click. You've been here a million times before. Bam. Played without us just a little bit. I didn't know I didn't know how to use the items before I before I get absolutely you know clowned on in the court of public opinion. Alright. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, did I leave? Did I, did I Oh, no, I, I think I used all my backpack expanders. I got paranoid for a second, though. We got rings. I think, so, I think what people, what people always say, is you gotta keep your inventory clean. You gotta keep your inventory clean. I say, the hell with that, all right? If you have an item that only works when, um, when it's, uh, like, when it needs nothing adjacent or whatever, just cram potions in your backpack and just use them on the first turn. You were gonna leave them there anyway. You're leaving money on the table. Like, do I want this shirt? I kind of do. I'd have to. I'd have to lose everything for this shirt. But five block each turn. Kind of got me feeling a type of way. Leave the food behind. We don't take damage. That's why we buy armor. Double slime. Sadly, our armor is not enough to not have to block that. And our shield already gives seven, so so far it's done nothing for us. It's a long term investment. We don't have to we don't have big damage on this battle. I'm sure we'll take like an extra four turns. But you know, what's the worst that could happen? There we go. Speedrunning. Now, I have played a little bit. That does not mean I know what everything does. Alright, let's get that squared away. A keg. This item is heavy. It creates a drink in the space that is in this row. Or a brick. At zero block for each adjacent structure. This item gets plus one block. A keg is not a structure. Okay. So, first things first. You get a club over the sword. Strictly better and smaller. I've seen that there's, like, cleaver builds. When armor is present, this item gets minus four damage. Well, that's not my kind of playstyle at all now, is it? Probably, probably just leave all this crap behind. We're gonna keep it thin and simple until I... Until, you know, maybe we have the freedom of, of inventory to... To kind of pick what we're actually gonna do. Now, in the one run I did play uh, outside of the stream, I did get absolutely clowned on by curses. So, we won't let that happen another time. This guy only hits for one. See, club? Club diff. That's what that is. Because it's stacking one week every time we use it. I like building a tunnel on this side because there's some stuff like energy stones you can't have adjacent stuff for so we build a tunnel and then we expand downwards for boots give me the items no boots oh there's another brick can we, can we build a house in our backpack <laughs> this 
item is a projectile. It deals 10 damage to all enemies. Oh. Well, I mean, we'll keep it just to throw it. Uh, let's check our map. Do we have a lot of lock one lock door? We can hold on to two keys. Oh, we can't take any more items. Oh, would I rather have a luck ring? Probably. Call that a day. Oh, I did take the brick. Fix gold for a fish? No. I don't want what you're selling, you little river otter. Pop our key in. Oh, good shield. It's... You know, it's not that much better, but it's smaller. That's what... That's really... That's really what matters. Gonna swap computers? Alright, I'll see you in a second then. Adjacent diagonal helmets and footwears get plus two block. Adjacent weapons get plus one damage. Each turn adds two block. So if we put that here instead, this will do eight. Adjacent and diagonal armor gets plus one block. Well, we have no helmets and footwear to synergize with that. So we'll take a fish and a cup of water, because we can hold it. Could it have been correct there to somehow, like, put both the shirts on? Probably. But might be a little too much. Too much to figure out, you know? Why not live simple? Oh, he just left? Alright, alright. Tetris, Tetris. First things first, clear out the operating room. What's the shield do? This adds eight block. This is seven block. But, you know, we like wearing armor, so I think this one is better. Put the shiv here, the shiv is free, and it'll do three damage from the bronze plate. We want the shoes to buff as well. But we also, what, what the hell is that, a tasty fly? Rats don't eat fly, what, does this do something? Like, is there a frog that I, that I could like feed this to? I mean, it says it's rare. We'll put it in the backpack because it's literally free to do so. So yeah, that's the shield is now giving us two additional block. We'll put our gold back in because that's important. You always want the key. And I think I'd rather have a drink than a fish or a brick. Although I do want to see what like a structure build is like, but I don't think I've played the game enough to even entertain the idea of cranking the Xenometer past, uh, past its recommended. So we're just gonna keep it simple, stupid. Reorganize now and claim a free cleaver. No thank you. So I have nine armor. Every time I hit this guy, he gets one weakness. So I shouldn't be able to bash his head in. No defense. We'll expand up here. Maybe that'll be like our helmet slot. And then, I guess maybe, let me make a little pocket for our shiv if we get something cool. Oh, there's the helmet. Yet you still get hit. I'm at 40 out of 40. I mean, sure I got hit, but it didn't do anything. As six rage to self, each turn deal one damage to self. See, like this is, this is the Zane levels that I that I think that I'm not even capable of of, uh, of executing correctly right now. Can use once each turn adds one poison to self. Weapons in this row get plus one poison for the rest of combat. Oh, okay. I see, I see. You know, text is hard to, to interpret tonality on, so... You know, my bad. Now, I would want... I would want it to be like this. The helmet buffs the breastplate and vice versa. Then my boots are left out of the equation. I mean, I could raise it up one, but then that also, then I would get minus one block for each space above it. So then I'd get plus one block from having it close to the breastplate, so it's like literally six block, five block. Oh no, it gets plus one. 
Oh, because bronze plate gives plus two, not plus one. Okay, good, good maneuver, good maneuver. Rose of thorns. I don't want stuff that damages me, so we'll probably say like the slime and the tooth necklace are just out of the question. The spear, I'd rather just rip the, whip the club right now. And I guess we'll just load up on potions. And I'll take the rose too, because there's no downsides to holding on to it. And then we're going to immediately ditch it for one of these things. Nah, kind of basic. I do think that this weapon looks cool. I do not think it performs well. Four damage to everyone, and it can't be next to other weapons. No, thank you. Uh, Cowardly will believe it's the only enemy that remains. Oh, I see. That's why he runs off. But we should kill him for the XP, because... Our naturally generating block is quick maths one less. So that means that if we use the club, we won't take any damage. And then we shiv him. Yeah. No survivors. We take him for all the XP he's got. Yeah, advantage of an armor build is that you should hardly ever have to lean on your shield. So then, you know, they could maybe make us think, like, why do we have it for the times that you do, right? Bronze plus bronze breastplate. We already have one. Liquid luck. An empty cup and an arrow. I have heard that bow, the bow builds are kind of interesting. Another mana stone. Let's drop... But let's just drag out everything that we're, like, down to get rid of, and we'll see what fits. Do you think Liquid Luck would be an interesting one? And then I want to keep the flag some curious, and then the potion is probably better than the rose. Call that a day. Um... Yeah, whatever, let's just throw it at him. Let's, sip, let's imbibe the luck. And then just get its clobbering time, frankly. Yeah, brutally efficient. It's all that, it's all that Abathur game. A legendary on turn adds two poison, or on use, adds two poison to all enemies, adds one poison to self, adds two mana to connected mana stone. Ooh. Now that is interesting. Okay, maybe it's time to say goodbye to the fly. We we tried we carried you for as long as we could. I think we keep we hold on to the Necronomicon. We have nothing that uses mana yet, but this looks like a great engine because it restores two mana on use. Let so me like we don't have to take all three mana stones, but we should hold on to them. An amethyst, weapons in this row. So we could put that here. Oh, synergy! Now we have a free 5 damage every turn between the bronze plate and the amethyst. Mm, I wanna. I'm thinking we ditch this mana stone. And I take the water flask. No, no, we keep it and, and settle for the spaghetti. Alright, never in my life have I chosen spaghetti over water, especially when you're thirsty, but. You know. Games, games are kind of different. You know, I'll, I'll go for gold. Who needs max health? We don't get hit. We don't get hit. They threaten us with combat, we say thank you. May I have another? Is this fool blocking? Doesn't he know? He never stood a chance. Alright. Let's, 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 uh... I think that makes sense. Get a diagonal backpack going. A little bit of chaos. So I'm thinking we move our mana stones over here, shift it there, add a dagger. Gets the double buff. So now this is a one time use per turn, 11 damage, plus two poison. Well, it uh, depends on how thirsty you are, man. 
just saying, if I was if I was in the the Gobi Desert in northern China and I was dying of, of thirst, and someone had the gall to offer me spaghetti. I'd, I'd be kind of offended. But like, you see me dying, yet you think I'm, I want some of your mother's pasta? Like, we move on. What if the spaghetti sauce was super watery? Oh, well, then I wouldn't want the spaghetti anyway. You, I hate when the spaghetti sauce is watery, man. There's a, there's a place by my house that, that sells, like, really cheap spaghetti, you know? Like one of the things, like Tuesday, get like a two dollar plate of spaghetti or whatever, and it, it it's literally like they give you like a shot glass of water with like a hint of marinara, and it's like it's not even worth. It's like it's the cheapest food I've ever seen in my life, and it's not even worth eating. So what does she do? Cowardly will flee if only cowardly enemies remain. You will get seven XP. A porcupine, a muskrat. So if we want maximum XP, dictates we kill this, this, then him, and I, we, we like 100% of the damage should just merc this lady straight up, and if she's dead, we don't need to block, so, there you go, Let's start working on the second guy, well, this was a couple years ago, it's probably like five dollars now, but, <laughs> yeah, it was something, it was something stupid cheap. Uh, did I just miss math? Are we gonna take damage? No, 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 no. That's 13. 13. Quick maths. Quick maths. Shiv him. Say hello to my little friend. And he's done. He's done. Okay, okay. A spiked helmet. Uh, oh, is this something that uses mana? No. That's two regen, two haste, and one energy, but it floats. My first wand. I have one regen to self. Is So this helmet gives four block. And, and well, five blocks. It shares, it gives one to the, to the, uh, to the breastplate. Whereas if we got the spiked helmet, we would... Eh, nah, we'll keep that. We'll keep the iron helmet. I think our damage output is fine. This wand isn't worth, you know... Because, like, we're, we're trying to... We have, like, a core build here. Which is most of the... Which is most of the... Our weapons with the amethyst stone. But then we have dreams. And all these slots in the bottom row. Plus, basically, everywhere there's a mana stone. That's us holding on to our goal. And I, and I don't want to, you know, rearrange everything over a wand. You know, maybe once we get a better magic item. Now this bubble. Hmm. Probably, I don't, I don't even think it's, I don't know what haste does, to be honest with you. So, this for the sake of learning, goodbye spaghetti. You were watery anyway. It's so cheap that it's sus. It is literally a plate of pasta, which is maybe like, you know, a dollar for a bag with like a shot glass of water with a hint of marinara. Yeah, like it's not, it's not all it's cracked up to be. I never said it was good, I just said it existed. Oh, math? Why did I kill the one that wasn't attacking? We block. He's gonna add regen to himself, but I think we can still can we get him with the ship. Yes. <laughs> Actually, does poison trigger before healing? Take one damage at the start of turn. Regen five at the start of turn. Uh, anyone know the PEMDAS on this? I guess only one way to find out, right? Let's eat the bubble. Find out what haste does. Adds two armor when blocking. Okay. Alright. 
Do you die or do you? Oh, PEMDAS. 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 I was today days old when I learned about the order of operations. No energy items. Explosive arrow for the bow we don't have. Hmm. So, I mean, a, a gimme is either this potion or this lucky ring. Probably the lucky ring. I think the magic items, especially the good ones, are going to be up there in the rarity sphere, so we probably need to stack these lucky rings. And our build's functioning pretty well, to be honest with you. I can't see any immediate upgrades or strict upgrades. Healer, we're not even injured. Like I said, never take any damage. Oh, this guy? Now, here's one interaction I do know. The club reduces one of each of his attacks. It's like Slay the Spire, baby. So, if we hit him two more times, we would take, what, three, two, and four? That's less than our block, so we'll just beat the crap out of him. There you go. Take that. Call me in the morning. And he's dead. A cap. No cap. Wands in the column gain plus one damage. Each space below this, this item is 0.5 block. Another dagger. Another key. And he locked... And he, and he locked the doors? One. It's a Wheel of Fortune? No, it's a merchant. I see. I do like the cap in place of our helmet. Strict downgrade, I know. But again, we're working, we're slowly phasing in the magic world. You know. Um anything else? Structures? We'll do that another time. We'll do it an I I see you brick, and I say another time. But the key, though, I'd, I'd, prob I'd give up a ring for a key, especially because I know that we're going to use one and you always want to stay strapped to the key. You never know when you'll need it. So we're just going to beat this guy to death with our club. That's all she wrote. So the two jabronis block up. Well, 14? We just, if we hit with the club, it doesn't matter. Make sure we, make sure we give him the poison. Doesn't really matter, but it feels better. Little extra chip damage doesn't doesn't make or break it, our like turns to kill at all. But... Nevertheless, so now we get more inventory. Oh, what if it? What if what if the bricks were now though? What if it was brick time. Magical herb at six mana to connected mana stones. We'll take the block potion and we'll just, I guess, roll with some bricks. We're standing at like the middle of three builds and uh, we just have to keep pushing, I guess, to figure out which one's actually going to work for us. The two bricks do actually give two block every turn though, so makes up for the block we lost on, the, on switching out our helmet. Oh, oh, how many heads do I have? Can we put on all these helmets? <laughs> Each turn moves forward one space, turns clockwise, then this moves, or when this moves, adjacent weapons get plus five damage this turn. Yeah, so you'd have to have an empty inventory for this and it would kind of just like move around. Why do you switch between club and dagger? To make them feel important. Basic, because the club gives one weak, right, which lowers the damage of the enemy, but then the dagger deals two poison and hits for one more damage, but it can only use it once per turn. So technically this one is three more damage, but this one is minus one damage towards me. So when I have enough block, I should always dagger. Uh, Jason Wolf has a plus one damage to this combat. As cool as wearing three helmets feels, because we could put one like here, here, and here. 
and we would have what six spikes. I, I want I want the magic build. I'm manifesting it into my life. Uh, so I don't think we take anything here. Dragonfly is a little too advanced for my taste. Drop the little buckler. You can take the item you land on. Curse, a star potion, a whetstone. A jack cleaver. 9th armor. Adjacent and diagonal helmet, shields, gloves, and footwear gets plus 2 block. Peglin trained me for this? I've been playing Peglin! <laughs> This is Plinko, man. This is Plinko. Uh, I guess we'll just drop here and hope for the best. Oh, there we go. Come on, baby. Jack Cleaver? I mean, that one's not that bad. Leave? Oh, there we go. Oh, this only takes one slot? Oh, but it's two mana to use. This would be if we had a bunch of cleavers. I'm sorry, we're not cleavers, man. I don't know how to break it to them. We got 15 blocks, so we'll beat the crap out of them. A small key. As opposed to this small key, they just look different. Oh, finally, something that we can use our mana on. Okay, goodbye, Bricks. Let's set up the Necromundus. Secundus. Bam. So now, for, now we can exchange one energy for two poison on them, one poison on me. And also, since it generates two mana, I can turn that into a block. Yes. There's another cleaver if we were going cleavers, but too little, too late. Could probably drop the dagger. Move our mana network over yonder. And then slot in another pair of boots, so that way we can boot when we boot. So that gives six block and five block. Best item here. We don't need a. You know what? There you go. Small key better than small key. I'll, I'll take one of each, please. Can't take any more items. Speaking of that, let's go. We'll use this one. Don't think it matters. A bow, a dart. Is that a chef's hat? <laughs> Cleavers below get 50% more damage. Man, how come we're. I'm seeing all these avenues. We we're just trying to go magic, and they just, they're like, go cleavers, here's a bow, go arrows. I'm like, no, I want to go magic. They're like, you get everything but magic items. I mean, we can hold on to it just because we have an open slot now, but I'd rather have, like, a dagger. Or, no, that's a dart. I mean, technically, it's more helpful to us, but if we go to this merchant right here, I bet you he'll pay a fortune for this legendary chef's hat. Yeah, how much is that? That would be nine gold. Sure, keep it. Or, or hear me out. What if we, uh, what if we started going cleavers? What if we kept the chef's hat and bought the queen cleaver? And sell our Necronomicon? Does mana? Mana's worth one gold? Eh. You know what? Yeah. By the way, only offered magic items incoming. When a weapon is used, this item gets destroyed. Damn. So I see that's like hard magic. We can we can cleaver it. Now our cap be like switched out in fact he can have it I'm selling off a huge portion of inventory but to be fair I never used any of it once so 
What good was it doing me? We'll keep the cleaver up here for now. I guess, like this. We'll pick up... We'll pick up just this dagger for the amethyst and bronze breastplate. Just wear both hats. Um, helmets to the right get minus one block, and they can't have... Oh, I guess this, this, uh, this cap doesn't give, uh, minuses for being... Usually hats say they can't have stuff above it. Yeah, what a space above this. So you're right, we can't just keep the hat. It'll get a little less effective. Minus one because of the chef's hat, but then plus two from the breastplate. So, like, whatever. And yeah, we'll try to go cleavers. We'll leave him with all of our magic crap. Maybe, like, minus this. Just so that way we can hold on to, hold on to stuff. Fill out our spaces. Can be used one time each turn on kill non summon creates two gold on use deals two damage. Nah, I don't want to waste my money. I'm out of here. Yeah, so we're in the market for cleavers. Boss battle? Alright. Bam, bam. And then beat him with the club. I thought he was supposed to be, like, a boss. We'll summon an enemy over my dead body. Cowardly. Get zero XP for defeating it. If we hit him three times, we'll only take 20, which is our exact amount of blocks. So let's just keep, keep just taking the dude down. I see no reason to stop moving. Oh, you're gonna get it. We also do have our emergency. I don't think we need the emergency block though. You're dead, leave, flee. Get out of here, you rabble rousers. Yeah. Take one item, adds three mana to the connected mana stones. All weapons get minus one reach into all enemies, and minus one spikes to all enemies. Or the windmill. Each turn adds one energy. I mean. Yes. I think that's that's better than cleansing flame. Cause you know what's better cause like spikes in regen? Situational. And we also have a lot of armor, we can tank spikes. But plus one swing of the club, that's forever. Duct tape. All effects applied to this are passed to adjacent items. Vampiric crystal. All diagonal weapons get plus one vampirism. We left these here. It's a diagonal, so we could place it here, and it'll hit the club and this? That's what I'm talking about. Did you ever go through the locked door? Uh, yeah, I only have one key left, so I'd hope I did. And I don't know, we'll hold on to some duct tape. Why? Because it's rare. Oh, there's a locked door right there. I don't know what the difference is between the two staircases, but I want in. Damn. It has to be better. It's behind a locked door, and we're in the Enchanted Swamp. Uh, excuse you? On taking damage, at three block to all enemies. Well, that ain't right. Oh my god, we have so much energy. Right, they don't deal a lot of damage though? Stuff and bow. First arrow in each row to the right. It's used. Used to find it. Mm, nah, not good enough for bows. Send this guy to Allah. Hit him one more time. Alright, it was it would look very daunting having all these dudes, but they're not that strong. Exactly lethal. Put him down. 
another cleaver. There we go. That works on the queen cleaver. Now it hit, now it hits for 14 for two energy. I mean, that's still needs more cleavers to, to be good, but we're working our way up to it. Cleavers below. This one's only diagonal uses, so the chef's hat can only buff the queen's cleaver for now. Duct tape for luck ring every day of the week. And we're done choosing. We're still holding on to that shield. That shield might be the next thing to go. Oh, it's a th see, this enemy is what kills me. That's a curse. Beat it to death with a club. There you go. That'll show you. Give him the old luck four. Curse of poison. I'll rather just take five damage. He's healing. Okay, we should get him next turn, even though he's getting healed to all hell. We're gonna take another damage from this poison one. Poison curse, but then that should be our last. Yeah, and stay out. Another brick, <laughs> if only. None of this is really appealing to me. Could take the pacifist ring for one turn and then just detonate it. But nay. Oh yeah, I forgot we actually. Uh, Taking the damage is fine. I forgot we have vamp vampirism on uh, two of our weapons. Okay, I want the question mark. Of course it's this fight again. Maybe we killed this guy. If we have it in us. There we go. Yeah, that'll probably make this guy die quicker. I'll take the I'll take the damn damage. Whatever. Heal me. We we heal what five every turn when we attack because we did one from here, four from here. So the curses aren't actually hurting us that much. And we get a level. I'll take I'll take my spaces thusly. What's this cursed shift? Item is conductive, creates a curse, deals two damage. Creates a curse for me? If it's for me, I don't want it. Is that a stake? Can be used one time each turn. Two uses. Grants three energy. I'll take the curse shiv and I'll use it once, and then when I'm betrayed by it, I will never use it again. Oh, there was a key there! No! Alright, we left too quick. We have six guesses remaining. Oh, oh, it's object permanence. I don't want this. Okay. Okay, well, we know where that pair is. We don't want that pair. I don't even know what that item is, but I'll take it. Bam, matched. Is it? Curse of honey? Oh. Oh, it's a curse? Sure, I'll take it. I thought it was a good item. I apologize. An anglerfish. Great luck. What is it, like right here? No, I've already clicked there. Zero guesses remaining. Well, whatever. One energy. I should have. I should have looked at the item first. Yeah, that steak did look pale as all hell. I cannot tell a lie. Oh yeah. So shift. The curse is for me. Okay. Yeah. We learned. We'll never use the shift again. Get rid of this honey curse before we kill this guy. Oh, 
Let him live. Don't shoot. Let him burn. Oh yeah, spikes. I have so much armor, I don't mind it. Get rid of the hunting curse. Get him for some health. So we actually, we're now in a position with the Vampiric Crystal where we can take the Tooth Necklace. A bent arrow. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting looking one. And we'll take, and we'll take, uh, oh no, we can keep the Poison Potion as well. Let's keep our consumables right here. Oh, I guess we already have a consumable up there, so never mind. This will be Consumable Alley. Mana? No thank you. Never been a dirty wizard. <laughs> well, I did try, but it's not illegal to try. Berserker's Ring, when armor is present. That's basically my whole inventory, man. Would I rather have... I like my consumables too. Alright, well... Anything I want to sell to the merchant? Not particularly. Yeah, it cost one. I'm not selling them potions for one gold. I'd rather just use them at that point. All right, opportunity cost. What if I won my first run on stream? Eight gold for a book? You're too late. You're too late. I'm a cleaver now. I'm a cleaver main. Locked door. I don't possess a key because I left one on that one floor, but maybe we'll find one here. Three spikes to all enemies. Can I deal 55 in one turn? When, when a weapon kills an enemy. Oh, I didn't read that part of it. It's poison to everyone? Sure. And we'll try to go for the burst on this guy. And we have it in us, so he'll rot the poison. No spikes. And we don't take any damage. He's trying to go for the same maneuver. Sorry, I'm gonna have to strike you down like your brother. Before you. E2, Brutus. Oh, that's, oh, that's the rage. We'll add 18 damage when attacking with a weapon. Oh, that's hot. Watch this. We haven't used the cleavers yet. 28. I, you know, use a poison potion, get a poison potion. Kind of comes and goes. Each turn adds one energy, and combat ends, it gets destroyed. You know, I'd rather have one energy next combat. I'll keep the block potion, it might actually prove to be useful one day. Not the curse. It's the curse goblins, man. Because we're either gonna beat this guy to death with just the cleaver. Or just the club part. So now we get that rage. And now the shivs hit for a lot. And we'll kill him next turn. I'll take the damage. I'm a big boy. We're at 10 health. That's what they made a warm drink for. Eat the cup at him too. heal up right now. Keep using our club. We can't fit it. He gave us the big curse. But we live, though, because we've been healing. Okay. Gloves? I've never had gloves. Never had gloves before. Put them here. Keep the cleaver there. What is this? A charmed bracelet. On use removes 5 HP, adjacent curses get destroyed. I mean, I might need that in a place like this. We need to make space. We'll probably ditch a ring, put the gold down here, and then we can use this to remove our curses instead of just taking 13. But then we'll also grab a warm drink and we'll just eat it on the first turn. Same with the block potion. They took a turn for the worst, but, like, we t we're taking damage, but we have, like, we have clear avenues to get rid of them. Okay, 
imbibe our, our potion. So this guy, and then the cup even has rage. And even the cups turn against you. Alright, give me two one-tile potion or er, curses. Finish ruining. So the other curse we have to reject. Taking 14. We still have that rage. Why is it dealing... Why does... Does Spikes deal one to my health pool? Is that what I'm noticing? Oh my god, I... I have to... I have to ditch something. I can't not take this curse. Goodbye, Apprentice Cat. Oh, it's only adjacent too, so I can't get rid of the Curse of Poison that way. On use. Okay, that one also gets destroyed. We have the damage to kill him with the two shivs. So I think we shiv him once. Use this. Give him ten spikes. And then we'll take a little bit of HP damage. That's fine. Because we're free. We're curse free. Let's spin. Spin like that. What the fuck is this? A teddy bear sword? Buffed based on adjacent accessories. We don't have a lot of accessories, do we? We do not. Yeah, we're one level up away. Teddy, but our equipment is suffering. We like every time we chose a build to go, we uh, we were we were betrayed. Okay, twelve damage to all. That one's a given. Alright, there is hope for us. There is hope. For each of it. So this chainmail is like a consumable armor? We need to get stronger, man. I'm not seeing a lot of opportunities for that. Can't take any more items. I, I, I need the fish. I'm so hungry. I'm dying out here. But we get a, we get a loot box. Which offers us a cave fish. Adjacent weapon below gets plus two damage. So if we put that here, this makes the club do 12. That limits our curse alleviation bracelet. Which is fine. We'll just, like, we'll use this crap. Adjacent and diagonals consumables get plus five healing. Oh. Oh, well, that's nice. There you go. Okay, we'll get to full health then. We'll just, we'll, we'll pop both, uh, both of our consumables. It's like, it's like Slay the Spire. I'm going Shiv build again. We're gonna hit up that locked door first. Because again, I think we need the power spike. Getting a little redonkulous. Another piece of seasoning? I mean, it's not getting us, it's not making us stronger, it's just keeping us alive. I don't think we need it, but I'll, I'd love to have it. Oh, they don't buff each other, because they're accessories. Oh, I see. This fish gives, yeah, a million HP. Whatever, I'll, I'll have full health. Eat the fish for 18, and then we'll life steal the rest. Oh, okay. 
Give me a one tile curse. Perfect. A little bit of poison never hurt nobody. Bam. Shiv him. Shiv him. And we'll take a little bit more poison damage, but he's dead this turn. And then poison kills itself. Create something really good or a horrible curse. I, I don't think we're in the business of. Wait, I don't. I think we're. Or I think we're in the business of having a risk at all. So. I, I stuff like this makes me makes me think that there has to be like builds where you just give poison to you and everyone else and then just recover it. We're gonna we're gonna take this other combat. I wish we didn't take this combat. I'm just I'm thinking we need gear. Yeah, it does take 15. You know, we we tried. We we really did try. Eat the bubble. Probably, like beat this guy's head in. Activate our rage. Pick up two curses. That one here. Goodbye seasoning. Take 16 damage. Whatever. See if I care. Go ahead. goblins. Alright, wait, hold up. Massive synergy. Kill them both for the cost of 5 HP. And shiv them. Wizard's robe. Man. We haven't seen a single cleaver since I committed to cleaver build. We're getting betrayed. I feel betrayed because of it. We've gotten all this cool wizard shit now that we've sold off all of our wizard shit. It's like the game notes. I'm not, I'm not a, I don't have the, the good graces to win. And now we're gonna step into a boss battle. Doubles poison, I, I kind of just took it just to take it. Well, if she spends her first turn summoning... Oh, I, I thought it was going to be summoning something. She summoned everything? Well, I'm taking actions turn. We should kill... I don't know what dodge does. We kind of need to kill one of these guys. Oh, we have a shield. Shield adds seven block. Um, okay. Yeah, that's fine then. We'll shield once. And then just... Annihilate the Dodge Maker. We'll throw a potion. So, how much damage is this? Oh, where's our rage? I thought we got rage when we killed something. It's non summons, aren't it? No one a web. Oh, it's because I threw the. I threw the, threw the potion last. It doesn't count. Okay, so. I'll, I'll go as far to say that we have to kill one of these guys just to get the rage. Start putting real damage down on the on boss man. They're doing 19 damage to my 17 block. I'll take two. Rather just end the combat next turn. Which we have the arithmetic to do. Are you cowardly? Yeah. Of course you are, you're a summon. We end our turn. Get out of here. Okay. We have a full size backpack. How weak could. Oh no, we're one space away from a full size backpack. How weak can we be? We win boss battles. 
For each adjacent or diagonal consumable, this weapon gets plus one damage. Is that better than Cleansing Flame? Yes. So that makes... Cause we're kind of a consumable build. Not by... Not not because we wanted to. Kind of by choice. There's another tasty fly. Sure, man. Coal. Can be used one time each turn. On use, items in this row get refreshed and can be used again this turn. For the shivs! How do you get plus one from spicy ginger? You have no consumables near you. Or is that because one item? I don't, I don't get that one. How does... How do you have extra damage? Oh, no, no, that's just the effect. I see. It's just letting me know that it has that status. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. So I want coal on the same... So here's what we do. We flip this vertically. Put the coal here. Oops. Coal hits all of these things which the only thing that needs to be refreshed are the two shivs. This is basically, we're gonna kill something with the club. Here's the plan, hear me out. We kill something with the club. We get rage. Rage means that the shivs will go from dealing five damage to 11, which means that the coal becomes one energy deal 22. Or well, yeah, they both deal five damage. So yeah, I think we're onto something. We still have the vampirism, we still get the amethyst. We can replace this crummy potion with one of these. Uh, we, oh, we lost our Sidorine buff, which we can get back by Tetrisin. Now, now it's buffing the Shiv. All right, now we're schmoovin'. Next floor. and a snake. I think we just beat the crap out of them with a club and then we don't have to block. Works for me. The thing's gonna deal 11 poison to me. Maybe we should have went for the snake, who would have thought? So let's see, the club is... 10 damage, so I mean, actually the sh the, the coal shift play is like, should be an every turn thing. It's more effective than just swinging the club back and forth. Alright, hit us. Poison me. You worst. So, shiv, shiv, coal, shiv, shiv. Down. Taking massive rot to this poison though. Shiv, shiv. Oh, shiv, shiv. Yeah, there we go. Electric wand. It's too late to be a wizard, man. We've gone, we've gotten this far. We gotta fight the same fight. We learned though, we learned. We go for the snake. Shiv, shiv, pull, shiv, shiv. And then I will accept that it's necessary to take two damage to kill the snake next turn. So I'm not getting poisoned again. Wait, we didn't kill him? My math? Um, on my math? Oh, 
No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reorganize this. That would take my whole turn. Essentially. We ship him. We get rage. I guess there's no reason not to block. We'll kill him. We'll get him next time. Bam, bam, bam. And again, no reason not to just block. We need every HP point we can get. I guess the reason not to block was that we're actually dying to poison, but... We're at 6 HP. We're gonna need one of these. Stat. Flower can probably go. What is this? Oh, it's because it's a weapon. Yeah, it gets buffed from the warm drink. That's cute. Even though it's a single-use weapon. No, actually, dump the fly. Pick up this, just for the buff on the shiv. Kind of the best we can do right now. Debuff potion. I mean, that's better. Another warm drink for healing also would hit the spot right now. If we ditch the shield, we lose three block a turn and the ability to add more block when we need it. So we have to, we're kind of stuck with the shield. Adjacent and diagonal helmets and footwears, so it doesn't apply to gloves, I see. It's not a glove friendly. Brick the ring. We're, we're riding by the skin of our teeth. Burn? I don't know if I'm ready for that, man. But he's gonna curse me. Let's fire the rocket. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's for each space it travels through my inventory, not on the board. Whatever. Shiv, shiv. And now that our shivs are out, we're gonna, we're gonna drink our nice cups. Throw our debuff potion. Oh no, the key is next to our charm bracelet, so we can't get rid of the uh, curse for free. Oh, just pelt him with cups, man. Send this guy to the Shadow Realm. Curse of Weakness. Whatever it fits. Finish reorganizing. Burn do. Like seven damage sort of the turn. This can be blocked. Okay. It's not as it's not as dangerous as poison. Shiv him to death. Oh, I see, but it's taken from my my block remaining. Lives long enough to give us a curse. Hopefully it's another one of these. What is it? Curse of Slow. It's 10 rage to all enemies. That's fine. I think we can uh, we can use both of these curses, get rid of them, and then just kill them anyway. A hatchet? That's not a cleaver. How come we went cleavers and then they took all the cleavers out of the game? Like hotfix. We're, we're still stringing al ourselves along. Alright, Snake and a Fire Gecko. Alright, maximum hatred towards Snake. Throw the potion at him because we can't.
Should I be calculating the numbers, probably? Yeah, but... Do I have a general feel for, uh, for what we need to do? Also, yes. I prefer that one. Not in the business of using our brain around here. Is that good? As my orcish brethren would say. It's fine. Take a little from the burn. That's ten regen to all enemies. Yeah, take your regen and see if I care. In hell. Well, another shiv would feel nice here. It does mess up my feng shui a bit. So we can probably redesign like this. Now we have three shivs, which we could use twice, two of which have vampirism, and they all have plus two damage. And then if we kill something, we get rage, and they all have plus six damage. We've become a shiv build. It's that easy. The transformation sometimes is that quick. We still have... Don't talk to me about the cleavers. A slime sword. Another slime sword be created at the end of combat. No thank you. Take a cleansing bomb, put it next to the club at least. Because the garlic doesn't have to necessarily be there. We have to get to that merchant. Find our way through that. I see snake, I kill snake. We do have a cleansing potion, so we'll block up. Exact block. Calculated. And we should have the necessary damage to take out this jabroni. I should have blocked. Prick me, man. Whatever. Five damage? We heal five damage every turn. So I think I think the triple shiv coal is our is our is our every single turn, and then we think about what we want to do with our remaining energy. And the answer this time is just kill him. Wings, Archangel Armor. Jason helmets get plus one block, and Jason footwears get minus one block. Shrin adds two block and adds two haste. Oh, cleanse it. Oh, that's the status effect of enemies. This one's for me. That there. So that way it buffs a shiv at least and ditch a key. The Archangel armor isn't as good. We just need the bronze breastplate to buff our shivs. We can't afford it. You can take a cleansing bomb, just knowing that we'll use a cleansing bomb. Merchant, please. He has nothing. Do they... Cleansing rag, when an adjacent weapon is used, remove one poison from himself. I mean, that's good, but we have nowhere to put it. It would have to go in our, like, because it's adjacent, not diagonal. And this row is full. Our, our shiv coal row. Shiv coal row is full. And we could liquidate the cleavers and the chef hat. But, I mean, well, we should keep the hat, I guess, because we don't have a, another hat. Move that over here. Add a cleansing. No. No, 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 no. Just, it's not quite right. It just doesn't feel right. I'll buy a cup, though. A little good old cup of Joe. Just move on. And I don't want to fight the fire geckos, man. Get me out of here. <laughs> Run away. Am I the only person that tries to click on the saved game pop-up? Oh no. Oh no. Yes. 
when a shield's used. What about a ship? No one's cursing us, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna, you know, clear out the consumables. Keep them around for the buffs. This guy's gonna summon an enemy. I don't necessarily want to kill this thing. That's one rage to... That's one rage to enemy. I don't know if that's all enemies or just him. Probably just him. If I use the pole, of course. I knew this. Take some damage on the chin. Oh, he's he's in front of me. He's standing in front. He's in melee. Um. him. I think we work on this little guy. With our newfound rage, we have the damage for it. Again, we take damage, but we, we vamp prison. We vamp prison. Generate a lot of health each turn. So, hit him with the shiv, cacophony. That's his customary. Hit him with well, hit him with another salvo, and then we'll think. How much damage is coming at me? Fourteen. We'll have two left. Nine, and then we take like twenty, whatever. Shield at seven block. Well, at least shield once, and we'll think again. So we'll take like. Take. 14. I think we, yeah, we exactly covered two of them. So if I shielded twice, I would take no damage, but then we make no progress. Let's throw a debuff potion out. And then 18 plus 17 is 25. We'll take two. Two is drop in the bucket. Easily regenerate, regenerable. As the trolls in World of Warcraft say, regeneratin. Actually, we had perfect block. Oops. Math. There you go. Run. Get out of here. Full backpack. Furthest I've ever gotten. Oh, there's a cleaver. Oh, another queen's cleaver. Oh, cool. Moves two rage from enemy. So it's a berserker's club. So that means minus two damage to enemy and plus one damage to self this turn. Oh, it's it's tall. I was gonna slot it out over our other club, but we can't fit it. We can't fit it. Unless no, unless wait, un unless No, it's only adjacent weapons, so if we move this up, we would miss the plus one damage on both shivs. Kind of defeating the point. I will take one of these, though. And a fish to boot. We're, we're just like consumable build. We're just... We're, we're holding on through every combat. Gonna summon a whole beehive. Seven spikes. Okay, maybe I should have took that shield that rips buffs off enemies. Live and learn. Oh, at least the spikes go down or go down every turn. Now we're taking a lot of damage. We could probably kill Bee Queen. 
but why? Wait, why would we? We get rage off these. Which means, do I have a particularly damaging shiv? No. But the club will do it. Now I have 18 rage. Which kills both of those. And I can't actually attack into this lad too much. Lest I face the consequences. Consequences being the spikes. Bam. Field. 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 Shield again. We take a little bit on the chin. But again, life steal build. We'll just club him to death. How many, how many shivs can we weave in here? Just one? Why does it deal four damage twice? Why did that hit me twice? Well, I don't know. We take damage. It's three spikes, but I take six damage from it. That's what confuses me. Spikes will deal three damage of attack. I hit with one ship, and I take six. You try to explain that, but you can't explain that. Sure, take another ship, whatever. We'll take it slow then, if you're gonna cheat. So that helmet's better than the chef's hat, for surely. Poison potion. Uh, my inventory's gotten a little too complex. Hold up, give me a moment. I'm thinking. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I care for any of these. Show me the loot. Cleansing bomb, liquid armor. Liquid armor is an alright potion. But uh, I like, I like everything more. I like everything more. This exact fight, I've seen this all before. So we know that the spike lady cheats. Step one, take no damage. 23, perfect. Then we kill. Let him summon the bees, and then we can, then we can style on him. He gives us, he activates our build with these summons. This is plus one damage for some unknown reason, right? It's 15, then I'll take 16. Yeah, don't know how that works, but it did. And then we can't hit this Blade Master. Is there a god of melee combat? Let's just let the spikes trickle down for now. Mechanics aren't quite saying what they're what they're what they mean, but that's okay. I'm I'm figuring it out live. There we go. Give me your items. A key sword. Seven damage for each adjacent or diagonal key plus two damage. 
I'm only carrying one key on me. Does mean it does more than the club. Take this over the spiky helmet. Star potion. If the last, if the last time it was, it was horrible. This time, this time it'll work. Trust. Old log creates herb in a space that is in this row. And the piece of seasoning. I do like the acidic potion. Uh, how close are we to the end of the game? Should I ditch my money? I can ditch the charm bracelet. It's been it's been treating us good when we've needed it, but I think our days of getting cursed are behind us. I hit him with the shiv shiv volley. And then star potion. Of course. Of course. Why would it ever not give us a curse? What did we do to think that we were so deserving? Unuseless item is destroyed. Lock twice. Hold out for the best. Silly. And on a block. We're taking a lot of damage, but we have a lot of healing. Not something to not something to be afraid of. Hit him with a cup. And nine times three is twenty-seven. He has twenty-eight. Throw that. Bop bop. Shield up. Consumable build. With a, with a, with a hint of shiv. Block once. We're getting through it. And we're back to full HP, just like I promised. Vampire Blade. Oh, I see the plus one. Oh, it's Vampirism that was doing that plus one damage. Because you would hit them, and then Vampirism deals one to them and heals one to me. So because that's why the spikes were triggering twice. I get it now. I get it now. So this thing does eight damage plus another instance of one damage. Vampirism only. I get it. I get it. I get it. I got it. And it's good. Um, take a cool drink. We have plenty of healing on us. Locked door. That's what we carry keys for. Please give me something that can save me. A key for my troubles. Oh, why thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. At least it went entirely neutral. Fine, finale. Here, we'll take it slowly. Okay. Wait, what's his on take damage adds one spike, adds one rage. Each turn adds three regen. Might be the worst enemy we've ever fought. Our, can I can I discard this vampirism crystal? I feel like it's only doing us harm now. We do have two cleansing bombs. Let's 
hit him with this unvampirism shiv. So that way we can still have the block up. Take a little bit of damage. I've never, I've never, I've never been disturbed by taking a little bit. Dodge. We'll dodge next one attacks. We'll, the next one attack will do zero damage. I see. Does that include a set of potions? It does. Each turn adds one dodge to enemy. Yeah, so then you're like public enemy number one. Shiv, shiv, shiv. Pull, shiv, shiv, shiv. Club. We do get the rage. Yes. That we do. I was, I was fearing that maybe because we uh, killed him with vampirism that we wouldn't get it, but we did. And we, we just hold. We'll take 13. But I think the way that we, we're going to deal with this guy is we're just going to have to clear his adds until we have so much rage that we can just absolutely go ape shit on him. Regen, that four regen will give us to full. We're gonna, we're gonna put down his slime. Just beat the crap out of him. A bit. Shield up. We take damage. We're okay with that. We have regen for him. We organize now and get a brick. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I needed. Throw the cleansing bomb to stop the stacking. We only have one more of those, so we gotta make it count though. Let's eat our fish and then just take damage. 21 rage. Use that one dodge. Dodge all you like. Death comes to you nonetheless. Okay. Still have one more cleansing bomb. We have 31 rage to our name, making all of our shivs deal a million damage. Dude, it's happening. It might actually be happening. Let's hit him with this shiv. Let's hit him with the club even does 40. Now that's what I call music. I think I'm down to like take a million this turn. No, 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 no. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not. Redacted, redacted. We'll take zero and just kill a summons again. It's not time for the cleansing bomb yet. We hold down. He's healing, but he's half HP. Hit him with... Bash him on the head with a club. Hit him with the unvampiric shiv, that would be only take six, and then block, block, block. Take a little bit of damage. I say we're just you know, getting the value out of our region. Swing and a miss. Then shiv to death. Cole. Shiv him to death. And then we block up and next turn. Next turn this guy's bricked, man. 
I'm going all in on him. Hit him with that shiv. This shiv. Cleansing bomb. The other shiv. Cole. Shiv. Shiv. Yes! That's what I'm talking about! That's a dub, baby! That is a dub! That build was garbage! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go. Player health loss 318, but we healed 450. Damage is, or health is just a resource, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, ooh, you and who didn't believe? Just confess. If you didn't believe, like if you thought in the middle of that, you're like, oh my god, this dude has six health and he's getting cursed every single turn by these two freaking lizards. Guess again, motherfucker. All right, you don't know what I'm capable of. Yeah, let's go. For each adjacent gem. Uh, what do I have? One gem? I have two gems, actually. Okay. Well, there you go. I'm taking that one, then. Do we still keep going? Continue in endless mode? I'd rather just get a new game, honestly. I'm, I'm riding the high... If I push into Endless, the only thing I can be is disappointed. Alright. I think I think we run it again. It's very unroguelike of us to try to enter Endless mode. New game.